All right, Jasmine, we're going to take a look at your breaststroke, a look at a variety of different angles, and give you some great feedback on uh, how to make it even faster. The first thing I look at is the speed of that uh, of your stroke. You see how it's kind of one speed. Your pull and your recovery are kind of one speed. What you want to do is have that pull be nice and powerful, but that recovery, which is your hands moving forward, to be a lot quicker. This will allow you to have much more powerful extension, allow you to have more power with your chest, to use your, your upper body, your chest, your back, your abs, to really accelerate you forward. Breaststroke is a forward, forward motion. The first forward comes from the power of your chest and press. The second forward is the power of your kick. What we want to do is get stronger with that and quicker with the chest and then supplement that with a nice strong holding the kick. We wait for our feet to finish before we take the next stroke. And if you kind of see here, you're kind of um, just slightly separating your hands a little early before your feet finish. You want to get that full kick. Again, as we watch this, elbows are coming back just a little bit far. We talked about staying forward, making sure that uh, your elbows stay in front of your shoulders and your chest. Um, as your elbows come back a little bit, as you kind of step up, you see there's a slight pause in your breaststroke. As you kind of lift up, there's a slight pause as you catch your catch your elbows on your on the your side and your chest. We want to make sure that quicken up that recovery, shorten it up to a half breaststroke pull um, to get, allow yourself to go uh, a little bit faster. As you see also, um, if you look at the, where your hands are located, so as we look at this here, um, we want to make sure the hands are, are facing back towards our feet, which you do a good job of. Um, we'll make sure when we pull back a little bit, we don't keep those, we keep the forearms pressing back a little bit so you can get a little bit more forward uh, or, or upper body pull um, to push yourself back. What this will also do is also pull your body downward and stay lower to the water. Uh, so rather than the up and down breaststroke, it'll be more of an extension forward. Uh, it's like you can see a little bit stronger press as you go through there. See how everything's kind of one speed. We want to be slow and then fast. Throw our, getting our hands quicker through the recovery process, allowing ourselves to be out in front. We get a nice full extension as we get our breaststroke kick. As we speak of our kick, you have a good, good, nice, strong kick. I like the, the amount of uh, water you're pushing. Uh, one thing that you can add is as you finish your kick, you can drive your hips down towards the bottom of the pool uh, as you finish. This will also lift your legs to go ahead and start into that next, that next kick rather than having to bring your legs down from deep. So when you're ready for that next stroke, look how deep your heels are. If you... Uh, upon finishing that kick, if you drive those hips down, those feet will start to lift. You can go right into a nice, powerful uh, drive forward. This will also, as you drive the hips down, if you catch water with the bottom of your feet, this will give you a little boost as well. Um, perfectly legal and allow, it really allows the flow of the breaststroke much better. Um, one other thing I want to look at is the head position. When we breathe, we want to keep that head down. To do a, a very good job of. You notice that there's no real kink in the neck, no lifting of the chin. Uh, you want to keep that head down, shoulders pointing towards the other end of the pool as much as possible. We do not want to lift ourselves, our shoulders up to breathe uh, and have that frontal resistance. We want to stay down, let the water fly through. Uh, by driving your hips in, you're also going to allow more water to run underneath you, um, creating a lot less drag. Okay, and as we look at the head on shot, one thing we want to look at here is the amount of the quickness of the recovery and the amount of press that we have as we drive forward. Very good. I uh, really like the flow that you have. I want to emphasize, again, pressing that chest down a little bit more. The stronger you press your chest, the more that you're going to be able to ride over the top of the water. The hips will rise and allow yourself to have a lot more flow. Brush joke is it should be swim downhill. Again, in a forward, forward, the first forward being the pressing, the recovery, quick recovery and pressing of that chest. The second forward would be that drive of your kick. Very nice work. I really enjoyed working with you. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in your swimming and hope to see you soon.